Indications for performing a carotid ultrasound include a transient ischemic attack, amaurosis fugax, carotid bruit, cerebrovascular accident, carotid stenosis, post-intervention follow-up, asymmetric brachial artery pressure, and trauma to the carotid region. The anatomy imaged with the carotid ultrasound include the common carotid artery, which is imaged from the clavicle to the bulb. The bulb is the widest portion of the carotid artery just before the bifurcation. The external carotid artery is imaged from the bifurcation to the mandible. The internal carotid artery is imaged from the bifurcation to the ear. And the vertebral artery is imaged posterior to the internal carotid artery running between the vertebrae. The patient should be in the supine position with the head turned laterally. We'll begin the exam by surveying the vessels in transverse and sagittal, looking for any echogenic plaque along the walls or in the lumen. It is important to differentiate the artery from vein. Notice that the artery is pulsatile and the vein is compressible. Now we're ready to take images for our study. First, we obtain a transverse grayscale image, then turn on it to obtain our long grayscale image. Use the heel toe technique to optimize the vessel. Apply the color box and sample gate using the appropriate steering and angle correction.